Okay, so I'm going to try this new Mermaid MCP that I found that was easy to snap in. I cloned the repo, I put it into my MCP client, I discovered the tools, and now I'm about to try the tools. So let's take a look at this. All of the containers are up, including, whoops, including, where did that go? Where's Docker? Including this new Mermaid MCP. And if we look into the uh, my client here, we can see this new generate mermaid markdown. So apparently it can generate mermaid markdown and give us a file. Now I've mounted a folder, hopefully it will save the file in. I've honestly never even tried this before, so let's give this a go. And uh, this is the topology. So CDP is not, I'm gonna see if I can get a mermaid diagram from CDP and other information. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I'm going to say, could you please enable CDP on R1, R2, S1, and S2 so they can all become neighbors. So let's see what happens here. It should call them sequentially. And let's see what tools it picked here. Configure device has a pretty high score. And if we look in here, it ran the configure device. And um, it's sending the payload to the device now, to R1 probably. And then R2, and then, right, so config applied on R1. And it ran the CDP run command. Now, I don't know if that actually enables it on interfaces or not. It's just running CDP. So maybe I should specify. I'll do that next. I'll do that next. Let's let it finish what it's doing here. Uh, and it's probably doing switch one and switch two. So we'll let this finish and come back with an answer. Uh, and then I'll tell it. Right, it, it needs to be enabled on the interfaces as well. Um, do you need to enable it on interfaces? Can you check CDP neighbors to see if it is working on the four devices which should discover each other? Vibops, Vibops, right? Just let it let it figure it out. If you need to enable it on interfaces or... So it's going to run the show command and it's probably going to run show CDP neighbors. Something happened in my logging here through my iterations. I used to see the payload here. I'm going to have to adjust that and log out what payload it is. So it's running show CDP neighbors and we can see that it's picked up some neighbors, it looks like. But I don't know. I'm wondering, yeah, this might be a bit ambitious. Uh, I could tell it the interfaces that need to be set up on um, to make sure that they're discovering each other. Okay, here we go. R1 is discovered. Switch 1, R2. Okay, so I'm going to try the mermaid now. Could you please give me a mermaid drawing of this topology. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know if it's going to work or what it's going to do, um, but we should see Generate Mermaid has a high ranking here, and that's the tool that it picked. Okay, you can find it here. Now, did I volume mount that? Do I have, there's my topology. 
So we have router 1 and router 2, router 2 to switch to, router 1. See, it's a little goofy because we have the added band that's throwing this off. Um, hmm. Interesting, though. It is a good idea, but I can actually draw... Uh, and this is accurate. It's just a little goofy because of the edit band that it's picking up the dual homing. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, I wonder what else we can visualize. Let's try to do something else. That was great. Can you get the... Um, hmm... Can you instead use the Mac or ARP table to also include the PC1, I'm going to say the Linux, PC1 and PC2 connected to switch 1, and then update the diagram? So it's going to run some commands here, run some show commands. Where is it running it? We won't know because I goofed on the logging. We'll see in a second. What It's probably going to be on switch one. It's going to run some commands to discover the Linux hosts, hopefully through the Mac table. And then maybe even go on to the Linux hosts themselves and run some commands. We'll see what it does here. a warning about mermaid generate but that's not the name of the tool what happened here okay it didn't see it didn't all right i see what happened the rag didn't pick up the generate tool so let's see what happened here um, please use the mermaid um, let me just get the actual name of the tool real quick the diagram with the PC1, PC2 connections. Okay, i got to work on that. Maybe the doc string isn't strong enough. Or I have a lot of tools that have maybe need to be renamed a bit for clarity. And is it already done? Okay, updated network topology. Updated network topology. Cool, so this is accurate. This is accurate. Holy cow. Switch 1 is connected to PC1 and PC2 on these ports. Now, Ethernet 3 does not connect to Switch 2, but it does over out of band. So that's where it's seeing the CDP neighbor there is out of band. So this is an accurate depiction. Really awesome. Really awesome. That took five minutes to add. I literally just finished publishing a video, found this MCP, plugged it in, and now I can draw mermaid diagrams of my network topology from CDP neighbors. I could probably do routing tables and other mermaid type diagrams. I haven't even scratched the surface here. Really exciting stuff. Uh, more to come. Thanks again.